Hey guys, today we're going to be building out a co-pilot that somebody had asked for in the comments on one of my past videos. Um, so taking a look at the comments here, um, and then let me just scroll down to the bottom. Um, we have Corey Av. So sorry, Corey, if I'm not saying that right, but Corey Av had asked for, um, well, basically, I've been trying to build an agent that summarizes all my emails from yesterday, providing highlights and actions on a daily recurring schedule. And then Corey said, been having trouble, so it would be awesome if you could help or drop a video on it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, so let's take a look at the Copilot agent. Um, there's a couple of key things that we need to do. So um, first things first, um, Corey had asked that it's running daily. Um, so that means that we are going to have an autonomous agent, which is awesome. It's my favorite kind. Um, if we go in here, uh, we can check out the triggers uh, on our Copilot agent. We go add triggers. Here you'll see that there's the recurrence. Um, so if you go and select recurrence and select next, um, it's going to just connect um, to Power Automate and then it's going to go and create that recurrence. Um, one thing to note about the recurring ones is that they don't actually give you the option to go and um, pop in the time that you want a recurring at within Copilot Studio, you just need to click into Power Automate. So I'll show you how to do that really quickly. It takes two seconds. So uh, if I select the recurring Copilot trigger once I've actually created it, it's just gonna take a second and then we'll see our Power Automate here. Apologies, Power Automate doesn't have a dark mode. I just found out Copilot Studio does. That's why it looks different. Absolutely love it. Anyway, um, the recurrence, if you click on the recurrence tab uh, at the top, uh, you'll see that um, it's running every day. So one day um, I've selected my time zone here, Pacific time, uh, and then you can select at these hours. So uh, in this case, it's a morning summary of my emails from the previous day. So I want it to run at 6 a.m. So I've gone and selected six. Easy as that, select your time. It's gonna run every day at that time. So flipping back now into uh, my Copilot Studio, a um, couple of tools that we've given the Copilot. Um, so we've given it the ability to go and get emails, which is crucial. Um, so it needs to go and get the emails from yesterday. If I go and select edit, I'll show you guys what I had to do. Um, one small change here is the search query input. Um, so you have to go and add in uh, an input, add in search query, um, and then it's going to automatically be flipped to dynamically fill with AI. We want to change that to a custom value because we're entering in um, received colon yesterday to pull in the emails that were received yesterday. Um, so it's going to look at my inbox, see and search uh, any of my emails that got in yesterday, uh, and then it's going to parse through them, uh, be able to formulate some data around that and send me my summary in the morning. Okay. And then just flipping back, uh, there's one other tool that we added. So that's send an email. Of course, I need uh, to receive the summary of emails. Um, so I've gone and hooked that up here. Um, I've just popped in my email in the to address. It's awesome. Um, and then just a subject for morning summary. Um, those are both custom values. And then I've just selected dynamically fill with AI for the body. Um, so it's going to go and fill that based on the information that it parses through in the emails from the previous day. Okay, awesome. And then flipping back, um, doesn't really matter too much. I'm, I've picked the 4.1 mini. I've been kind of experimenting between 4.1 mini and 4.0. I'm not really noticing any significant differences. So um, I've just stuck with the mini on this one. Uh, it seems to be doing the job quite well. Um, so let's go and actually test that. So there's a couple different ways that you can actually test your uh, flow if it's a trigger like this. So you can test it directly in Copilot Studio, selecting test trigger. Uh, the only issue is that it's gonna run with the past um, flow example. So uh, you can see the times that I've actually ran it here to test you select it and then it's going to use that instance to trigger um, the agent. Um, so I've you know, had sort of mixed results to be honest with some of the testing inside um, Copilot Studio. Um, the way I prefer to actually test these triggers um, is if you click back into our Power Automate routine for the recurring client trigger. Um, in the top right here, you can see this test. Um, so this is gonna go and actually just run a fresh copy of this instance. Um, so we can go run flow. And flow. I know it's a little bit of a weird way to test things, but um, I found it just generates better results. To be honest, it's kind of a bit hit or miss using the trigger inside Copilot Studio with this one. Um, but if I'm triggering it from Power Automate, it's working every time. Um, so I know you know it might just be a Microsoft bug of some sort, but in this case, uh, I just like to you know trigger from the very very start, uh, and then we're just going to wait around and see, uh, wait for our email to pop up here. Okay, and now you can see my notification in the bottom right there. Uh, I've got my morning summary. You can see all my test ones that I've been uh, working on today. 
Um, so if I click into my morning summary, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, it's going to give me my email digest. So, you know, join the Typeform community. Um, nice, a brief compliment for myself while I was testing some uh, email actions. So uh, it gives you an email digest of what will happen the day before and then any to-do items. Um, so, you know, some of these can obviously be filtered out just using the natural language and the instructions. Um, can be pretty easy to do. Uh, I've just kind of left it pretty bare bones for now, but it does pull those to-do items for me in the morning and sends me an email. Okay, and then uh, the last thing that I need to cover is probably the most important, and it's the set of instructions that I've given it. Um, so the more I'm working with Copilot Studio, the more I'm realizing just how much lives in the instructions. It is a tremendous amount, and it's really important to understand how to use them. Um, I, you know, my process is I'll, I'll kind of write out my instructions based on what I know, and then I'll collaborate with like a Copilot or ChatGPT or something like that to kind of. Uh, tweak it a little bit, um, but let's take a read and see exactly what I've written here to get the results that I'm getting. So you are an AI assistant that uses the get email tool to read emails from the user inbox. Your job is to create a concise daily digest of recent emails and highlight any actionable to do items and send it immediately using the send email tool. So there's some rules that I've made it follow. So they use or use the get email tool to retrieve a batch of recent emails from yesterday. So subject, sender and body. For each email thread, summarize the key topic or conversation in one to two sentences, identify the main sender in their intent, and highlight any important decisions or outcomes. Step three, determine if there are action items or follow-ups for the users. So look for specific requests, you know, please review, can you send, etc. Uh, if there are tasks, list them clearly as to-do items. And if there are no tasks, simply summarize the conversation. Uh, the output format, so you can play around with this as much as you want, but Start with a summary uh, digest listing key topics of all emails, then create a to-do list uh, only if action items exist. So kind of those call to actions that are coming through email. Um, so an example that I've given it is, you know, what we received and what we saw in the, the copy is email digest. So a couple topics and then a to-do item with a couple items. So format the message with proper HTML formatting and pass it along to the send, to the send an email tool as the message. Emojis are allowed. It loves to use emojis for whatever reason but avoid smart quotes or special characters. Trigger the send an email tool and enter in this as the message content. So step five, do not create or update records. Your only job is to read, summarize, and report back to the user. Step six, keep the digest clear and short, avoiding quoting full emails unless necessary for context. And then number seven. So this is something that I had to troubleshoot a little bit is that it was going and getting the emails and then not actually sending me the digest. Um, so I've just made this and marked it as important. Um, and it seems to uh, now be taking that into consideration and making sure it's sending the email. So I said, after summarizing emails and identifying to do items, you must immediately use the send an email tool to send the summary by email. Do not wait for user approval. Do not say, I will now send it, just send it. Do not stop the flow after summarizing. Your task is not complete until you call the send an email tool with the following fields. And then I've just entered in the body. So the full email digest and the to-do items. And then you must complete the flow by sending the email automatically. Do not expect a, tr a prompt, trigger, or manual confirmation. Um, so again, that's just something that I had to kind of adjust on the fly. It kept on generating the list and then asking me if I wanted to send it when I was testing it within Copilot Studio. But now when I trigger it, it just automatically sends thanks to that um, piece of instruction. So super important to have. Um, it does take a little bit of tweaking and playing around with to build these things, but hopefully Corey, you know, this is helpful for you. Um, just, you know, leave a comment. Uh, if it is, that'd be terrific. Um, and uh, if anybody else has any ideas around different agents they want to see or needs a hand, please just comment on the video. Um, I'll be reading through them all, uh, try and respond to them all. Uh, and then if, you know, it's an idea that I like and I want to give it a shot, uh, I'll actually build it out and do a video for it. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again, we're a small channel. A subscription means anything. It's free for you. So if you feel like it, please subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. So thank you all and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.